O come, thou rod of Jesse free, thine own from Satan's tyranny, from depths of hell thy people save, and give them victory o'er the grave. One of the great figures of the Old Testament, and indeed the whole Bible, is David. He went on to be one of the greatest kings that Israel ever had, ushering in a golden age for God's people. And of course he wrote so many of the Psalms which we use in our worship today. But if you ask people what story they think of from the Bible when they think of David, it's bound to be David and Goliath. That event happened when he was a young man, the son of Jesse, who by sheer circumstance ended up facing this great warrior, Goliath, and defeating him. That story is so often held up as a motivation and an encouragement that, you know, like David, we can overcome the obstacles we face. We can defeat the Goliaths that stand in our way. There's a truth in that, of course, but it misses the point, which is that David isn't the hero. The God in whom he put his trust is the hero of that story and indeed the whole Bible. David wasn't a perfect man and he wasn't a perfect king. But he was a man of faith. We can see his devotion to his God in Psalms such as the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. But it was promised that a descendant of his would come who would be a perfect and everlasting king. Great David's greater son. The good shepherd who would lay down his life for his sheep. And that of course was our Lord Jesus Christ who is our hero. And he came and he faced the greatest enemy, which is Satan. The enemies of sin and death and hell. And he triumphed. And through his death and resurrection, his people who trust in him triumph also. He is our hero. He has come and we are waiting to, for him to come to complete and manifest his victory as Lord. Some words from 1 John chapter 5. For who whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Let us pray. O root of Jesse, who standest for an ensign of the people, before whom kings shall shut their mouths, to whom the nations shall seek, come and deliver us, and tarry not. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Amen.